Okay, so I'll bring the knight out here. It's got a two pawn situation. Could still hit this center pawn, even though there's only the knight supporting at the minute. Going to take, it looks like this is one of those special openings, which we haven't to ignore because it doesn't mean that it's rubbish. And I'm going to bring the knight back rather than bringing it up here because it's going to get challenged by the pawns. I'm going to put a check on the king. Not rushing it, nice and steady away. And let's... Could attack this pawn because the bishop can't defend, so they know what they're doing. That's fine. So they're protecting the pawn. So that was a little bit of a test, really, to just see how badly they were going to be playing. We could bring the queen just here. It is going to get challenged by the pawn, so let's just bring it here. I just want to make space for the dark square bishop. Whether it's right or wrong, but I just want to get castled, really. Keep it nice and safe. So as we make, oh, okay, he's taking, so let's, we're going to take, and we get time to castle, yes. So as we've mentioned time and time again, just because it looks like a quirky opening and it looks like the, the person doesn't know what they're doing, it's only proved by them doing stuff that disadvantage them, disadvantages them. So at this moment in time, it's not really disadvantage. It just looks odd, looks different because it's not the usual way to start your game, I suppose. Knight can come and attack us. We could bring our knight here, just looking to see if we're going to get a touch on this pawn. It's got no protection, but the knight can come here and attack our queen. Our knight is on the back, so it's not a very good position for our knight. It doesn't look like our knight's going to get out unless, of course, we get to take something. So we could take inward, but I think we'll take inward this way to give more pawns in the center-ish. So the knight's jumping in. We can hit the knight with a smaller piece. Where are we sending the knight to? We want to be careful. It's not going to go back here. If it comes here, it gets taken. If it comes there, then it's got a fork on the rook and the queen. So we may have to bring the queen here. I'm going to bring the queen here, protecting the pawn, taking itself off of the fork. I know it's going away from our king. We like to give our king some company. Knight's jumped in, but there's no protection, but is have we fallen into a trap? Does the queen come down and get it somehow? Or, oh, they've moved really quick, so it's like they've got something stitched up. Smaller piece attacking. Just to block that off. This pawn's got no pretty well, it has actually the knight. Sorry, sorry, man, excuse me. And so this could come down the pawn can't take. If we open the queen up, this queen's gonna take. Our queen looks like it's stuck in this little. Why didn't they take with the queen? So we could put a check on their king now. It's just that this pawn is still stuck. So I'm going to bring the knight here, protecting this pawn. Now the bishop can come here and attack the rook. And let's move this queen now. Let's try and get it activated. Checks on the king, mate for it. Can't push the pawn, but his queen can probably come there, but it's going to get taken. So we'll put a check on the king, and that looks like it's going to be checkmate. Whoa, crazy game. Okay, 10 and 0. Let's see what excitement this game is going to bring us today. Let's develop the knight as usual. Hmm. Let's just bring the bishop here. I don't know why I was overthinking that. Just looked a bit strange. Shall we castle? Just bring the pawn up. Making space for the bishop. And the knight is in. Do I need to worry about the knight? No, let's just bring the bishop here. Does take, let's take with the bishop. Ok, 
Okay, so that's almost all the opening phase completed. Just uh, get this knight out. Do we want it on the inside? I think I'll go on the inside with the cluster of pawns. All right, so he's got two pieces protecting this pawn. So they're doing a little bit of lazy man's chess, which I'm fairly okay with, looking to touch on the bishop. So we might as well move the bishop out of the way. Knight's got currently got protection with the queen. Hopefully the queen's thinking, oh, I need to get off the back. No, it's not having any of that. So we can take, but they're looking to open up and make space for the rook to be coming down here and getting the queen at some stage towards our king, Gary. But maybe they're just going to take with the bishop and the bishop's going to be on our queen. So I think that's probably the way they're going to go. So we have the option of trying to stop this sort of activity with the knight. So we could come here with the rook, which kind of condenses everything for the bishop and the queen, but it does protect the pawn. If we could get something behind the rook, then potentially put some pressure on here, giving them something to think about. Let's do that. It's not really what the rook's designed for. It's not designed for protecting pawns, not designed for these quirky positions, blocking all its other pieces. So it's a very unusual position to be in and it's kind of a weak position i'm thinking in my head just because our pieces are a little bit jammed in so a little way we can free it up a little bit is this but this is easily defended so it's almost like a bit of a waste but we would be able to challenge the knight at least to see what he wants to do but he might keep it there because he might just want to open up the space around the king lots of might bees but Currently, we're in a nasty looking position. So the opponent is obviously thinking, how can I make it look even nastier for them? So I'm not really a fan of having the queen behind the rook. Oh, but does that open up space? Because we've got a two on one there. So I'm going to take, I don't really want to overthink that. Maybe they're trying to, but we've got a pawn here. So it gives us a bit of a push, but he's got two on one with the queen and the knight. So the bishop takes, but the bishop gets taken by the rook. There's probably some set plan thing here. And does the queen come and attack the rook? We can take the pawn. Oh, but ah, that's the thing. Look at that beautiful position. Rook goes and takes the bishop. Knight takes, got a fork on both the queen and the rook. That's why they've done that. Wow, it's all down to that pawn, isn't it? So we're going to attack this knight and get it out of the way. But like we said, they might not even move it because they might just want to be opening up this space for their rook and the queen getting in somehow at some stage towards our king. I bet you any money if they leave the knight still there. So tactics, tactics, tactics. <clears throat> I prefer position over tactics any day. But if you don't see the tactics, then they do work. Well, hey, he's moved. I'm surprised. So we can hit the bishop just to get it away. And then we're momentarily kind of owning the file. But I believe he's going to do this. We hit the bishop. He pushes down onto the rook. Pawn takes... Knight's back in the damn position again. Oof. Don't it make you sick? Right, okay. So we could bring the knight up. Attacking the pawn. Does the same thing. Attacks the rook. Oh my life. This pawn's got no protection on. But we're not going to be fast enough, are we? If we bring the queen here. Pawn pushes down. Pawn pushes down, just bring the rook back down, I suppose. Oh, what's happening? Hit the bishop. And we said the problem, we're not going to do that now though, because the rook's not there. But they can still do it physically, but I don't think it'll make a right lot of sense them doing that. 
So let's take this rook off the board. We've got this pawn in our sights with the bishop. Let's take the queen off the board. Let's take the pawn off the board. Let's go for a rook trade if they're willing to trade down. So that all happened very quickly, but like I said, position can outweigh tactics because tactics are a one-time hit type thing. They don't really necessarily look at the position that you're going to be in if that tactic doesn't work. So you might have a tactic that gets you a checkmate, that's fine. You know, every move is forced, that's fine. That's improved your position as you're going through each of the stages. But the tactics that are like quick and dirty type tactics or if you're looking for like in this game here a fork on two major pieces but the rest of the pieces aren't working together as a team so it doesn't improve your position then on the board so there's different ways of looking at how you perform your tactic is it a tactic that forces moves to a checkmate then that's fine because that's improving your position as you're going forward uh, but majority of tactics are one-time hits either gaining a bit of material but not necessarily really improving the position on the board so it's re-evaluating what you term as a good tactic and what you term as like well it's a it'll get me by type thing but it's not really improving my position on the board and you have to be wary because there's a lot of positional players out there who can mess up the tactical type of player and I would rather be a positional type player because you're playing chess then. Tactics is like, it's not really playing chess, it's just almost like, well, it's a trick here, there's a trick here, and I really want to get position, I want to get half a decent, a half decent position on the board if I can. All these pawns here now, I don't really want to push any of these pawns up just yet, let the opponent overextend and maybe then get the king involved. dark square bishops both of us so he's not looking for the exchange so we can come in and challenge the knight i think that's probably what they were thinking so then the knight it's not trapped i suppose the king can come and defend yeah i don't really want to waste the move but it looks like a nice move nothing else really is there comes there rook can't come here because the bishop's protecting so do we just save that for now and just maybe move the knight? Or is he thinking, well, I'm going to start challenging down here? Or do we bring the knight up here, attacking the pawn? Pushes the pawn. Could bring the knight up, it's challenging something, isn't it? I don't want that. Advance the rook. King comes down. Bring the rook across. King can't follow it. Maybe the knight can do something. Mono dark square. Let's do. Oh, cracky. <laughs> Let's do that and see how it sits here. Although I do really like owning the file with rooks. So it's cutting against the grain a little bit. Comes here, come across. All my brain is thinking is if I can get to here, then. We may be able to get one of these pawns off the board. But he does have stuff. If that king moves and the bishop can come here to attack, then we can go here. Okay, let's move like we said. Bishop probably comes here to attack the rook. We go there, we get a pawn off the board. Or is there something else? The knight moves, but we can... Oh yeah, knight moves to stop that. Oh, he's not doing that though, so we'll go here. I think the knight could have gone there to stop that. Cause a little bit more confusion. Although, we could have just gone here. Don't think there would have been much weight there. Um. Okay. So the plan was to take a pawn here. I don't think there's anything else to do, is there? Let's do that. Got to be mindful now. Could come and attack. Probably going to defend, or is he just pushing the pawn down? Pushes the pawn, we go here. Then he keeps pushing. Nothing worse than a rook chasing pawns. Mm. 
Oh, come on. Can I not get a break? I don't think that's good for them, though. It's like a Fisher's Basky thing, that, isn't it? It's almost trapped. So his rook's going to have to come and defend this pawn. Okay, let's. he's not doing that. Let's bring the rook here. So we'll be on the bishop. So the bishop's probably going to have to sacrifice itself for two pawns. If, we're, if I'm thinking correctly. Rook comes here. We take... Uh, ooh, shine on. Uh, anything else? No, nope, let's do that. Takes, takes. Does take... Yeah, so two pawns. I don't need to rush to take it, really. I could take with the knight, but then he does escape. So I'm going to just take. So a bishop for two pawns. It's worked out in the backward way, but it was going to be that case anyway. Don't know why they're deliberating, because they're going to take. And knight does have a check on the king. It's just the king come here. Just searching for a fork on his rook, but I don't see it. So I'm going to take. Just take. So it's down there. So we still got this check on the king. Knight can move here. So if he moves there with his king, then we can go here and get a fork. Fingers crossed. But I think he'll come down to attack it. Yeah. Which is a shame. So we can go here. Or we can bring the rook and defend. Let's attack the rook. Rook comes to the side. Because this pawn looks like it's going to be falling. Pawn can go up to defend the knight. That's great. Bishop can touch onto the king. But the knight is there. So we're on four minutes at the moment. Yeah, so he does do that. So we could go here. If the rook forgets itself and goes here, we can take it with the knight. Let's push the pawn. It can happen. I've seen it happen. Many times. So there's still no fork on the king and the rook. We do have a check on the king. Currently plus three. Oh, he's off. Right. Nothing worse than a pass pawn. Bishop is protecting this area. I think he's going to make his way over towards our king, our knight. I'm going to put the check on. He's going to make his way over to the knight, but the knight is protected. It's on a white square. Could look to double up on the pawn. In fact, we could use the bishop for that, couldn't we? But then he's just going to push onto the rook. So let's go here. There will be a check on the king just to let us know that they're in the game. Time-wise, one minute at the minute. 3.30 for us. That's okay. Not too bad. So they have pushed... Still no fork on the rook or the king. Everything's getting onto a white square. It's going to come over and squish my pawn. It's going to be coming for the pawn. I could bring this bishop here to attack this pawn, but he's going to come and defend it, isn't he? Mm. Shall we bring it here? It's less obvious. Wow, he's moved there quick. He's moved there quick. Is he just defending? I'm going to take. Does he have a fork on my rook? Yes, type thing. And the rook is up, attacking the pawn. Pawn can push, but we lose the knight. Do we have a fork on the kingish type thing? And then get support from the bishop. fork on that rook yet no okay let's just push this pawn come on there's got to be a fork on the king and the rook at some point this 
passer. Please don't let this passer get anywhere. It's got to be putting pressure on the rook. Yeah, that's a, that's bad, isn't it? What can we do about that? Oh, I think he went the wrong way, you know. I think he went the wrong way. I had a position in my head. I don't know if it was that now. Um, okay, attacking the rook. I think I've given them the permission to actually attack the pawn because he's got a 2 on 1. Yeah. Oh no! Check. Just giving up the advantage. He's only got 16 seconds left, so I'm getting carried away. Let's go here. going up like that oh this is okay what's all this about I think we can just take that no maybe not maybe not let's take this oh and they've resigned that was close do you know in my head I have got to stop looking at that clock when the opponent's time is running down because then I just make some stupid move because I'm, I'm thinking well they're not going to catch up it's nowhere near because it's got no increment on it so they can't do any fancy dancing so my brain so kind of shuts off and it says i can just play whatever i want to play now because you're not going to catch up but that is not the way to play the game ten and oh okay let's um, bring the knight out and um, i'm gonna take the pawn this time pushed and the next fit ah I'm just gonna say the next phase of this I'm sure I play incorrectly but the opponents actually captured it's very rare that they capture usually push down I'm gonna take here so this is unfamiliar territory for me now because they don't usually capture so I'm just going to just Utilize what we know and castle king safety. We're not down material. Don't think there's any more attacks anywhere. Yeah, there's castle. So they've got little pawns in the center working for them quite nicely. Our knight looks like it could be getting jammed in, doesn't it? So here, can't jump there. Can jump here. It's okay then. Let's attack this pawn with the idea of potentially getting the pawn here, blocking two pawns. Ah, so yeah, so blocking two pawns, so classing them as one now. Let's take this knight off the board. Can't take that one just yet. Get the knight in, attacking this pawn. They're probably going to beat us to the punch. Uh, always spoiling the party. Okay, always for the B pawn idea of coming here because we've got a two on one bit scrappy Ooh, hoo -hoo. nearly 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 can't even go across uh, that's a damn shame isn't it it's nothing I can do is it no okay let's just come back nice idea oh he's giving me the knight he's giving me the knight oh bless them and they've resigned okay last game for, to for today 10 and 0 let's bring the bishop out let's tuck the pawn and castle let's leave the bishop let's just open up the pawn X-ray, no. Let's just attack the bishop. Hmm, it's not taking. Let's go in here. Disrupt the pawn structure. Aha, <laughs> exact move. Uh, we could move the knight all the way back if we wanted to. I wouldn't ordinarily because, you know, I don't mind having the pawns here. But today, I'm actually going to bring the knight back. 
it's the last game let's give it a shot let's develop the knight let's get it off the back excellent right so we do have this but nobody's protecting here let's go here i'm not a fan of this position really let's take before it gets a bit cloudy with the pawns it's getting cloudier it's getting murkier x-ray through to the queen Okay, the Merc, the Merc, the Merc. So, let's try and get this dark square bishop. We never do get it to the position, but like we say, we do attempt to try and do the Fianchetto if we get the time. When we're in this type of position, we can take the knight off the board. We can loosely come back here, here. But he's got so many pieces on there. It's just going to keep ramping down. We take the knight off the board, it just replicates. There's no point bringing it back here. Uh, let's see. Overextensions. Maybe a bit of space. Right, that's fine. I think I can live with that. Oh, the knight's coming for a merry dance. Can we take advantage of that? He's still got two pieces defending this pawn. There's no point in doing that because all that's going to happen is we're going to get jammed in. So, we need to move the bishop. We need to move the bishop. I've got one, two, three on this pawn. They've got one, two currently. So this knight is jumping in here quick time to defend. Again, I don't really know the del deliberation because the knight was brought back to come here anyway to attack the bishop but it must also know that it was to protect the pawn okay we can't move this knight because of the x-ray now so it slows us down a bit so I think they will take let's go here we do have a replication knight no they're not taking okay right so they want our queen Right, so we could move the bishop here, but that kind of just blocks everything off, doesn't it? And there's no more threats on this. If we move the bishop back, then we could push the pawn up onto the bishop. It's complicating it, really. Hmm. So the idea is we're trying to focus on this pawn. Not too much, but yeah, and they've got rid of it now. They've got rid of it, and our bishop is under threat. I'm gonna take it anyway. It's gonna take again. Gives us something to think about. We have two pieces on there, the rook, and he's got two pieces defending. It's on our knight. The knight can't necessarily move because the paw, because the bishop is entering through to our queen. So we could take the bishop. Take yeah, take the bishop. We're on their queen. And resign ourselves to the fact that we're going to be down a piece by taking. Knight takes, knight takes. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Let's hit their bishop. Still going to be down a piece. Because even if he takes, and then if we take, and then we take, he's still going to be up a minor piece because his small little pawn oh, is that right yeah so if he takes then we take 
So that's a minor piece, a minor piece each. But then he takes the pawn, then we take the pawn. Oh no, it might be even, might it? Hey, hey. Okay, but positionally this don't look good. So if we bring the knight across, our queen is going to get some serious pressure. Let's go here. Look at the, this is a terrible position for us. Oof. Dear. I think we got lucky there, but we've not really improved to a better position. This is very sketchy. King is very airy, doesn't have much company. We'll be looking to get the bishop here, putting a bit more pressure on, but they'll be again looking to get it escaped. Come on, we can't even do that really because the queen's just coming here with a check on. Well, we can, but we, then we can move the bishop and protect. I'm gonna have to take, aren't I? See what they do. Actually, plus one there, you know. Are we improving all the time? It just looks so sketchy with not having any pieces in front of the king. Maybe the king is saying, Look, I'm happy. Just do what you need to do. Fight the good fight. This king's got so much company, it's unreal. It's not going for the check on the king. He's attacking the pawn again. So, can we protect? We can protect. We can bring the queen here. This is that's going bishop doing. It's going to hit me like a... It's going to hit me. But we've got the knight. I'm going to bring the queen here. Knight takes, rook takes. So a bit of company for the king, because now the queen is not coming here. Well, it can, but we'll get taken. Adding weight to that pawn, I can feel it already in the water. Bishop coming here. We are attacking the knight, it's got no protection. Look at all that company his king's got. Absolutely loads of company. Think, 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 think. Could attack their queen. Queen doesn't have to exchange, but let's see what happens. If he takes, pawn takes, rook takes, maybe. Okay, let's do that. We need to clear the board. Are they going to be brave enough though? Look at all these pieces in front of his king. <laughs> oh, dear me. That might be overkill. I'm hoping because they're not actually working together as a team. They're just clustered around the king. That maybe we'll get a benefit. Doesn't look like they're going to be exchanging. Miraculously, we're still plus one. What's the knight looking at doing? Doing something. We'll just take it off the board. We're looking to exchange. Always for the B pawn. If I had a million dollars, that's probably what they're going to go for. looking to see if there's anything I can do about it. I'm trying to squish his king with his pieces here. I just want to be able to say it's okay having all that company but if they're not really defending it then we can chip away at them. I mean that looks nice but it's not threatening the bishop. And if the queen's gone greedy munching the knight's gonna have space to come here attack the rook. Bishop might, it's a long process, but you know, attacking this pawn here. Bishop's protecting there at the minute. Mm. 
chip away, chip. Why is actually moved away? It's not exchanged, it's just moved away. So the pawn can actually attack the knight. They're probably expecting that. That's why they've moved the queen there so that they can take here. But don't forget we have the stealth bishop. Always got to be mindful when you're pushing onto the knight though. Where are you actually sending it to? To this square attacking the queen. Yeah. So maybe we do this first. It's a bit slow though, isn't it? It's a bit slow. Right. Don't want to lose so much time thinking now. That feels nice, but not so nice when I have to move. I don't want to take this bishop off that back either though, because the bishop's just going to come running here. Morning. Any more challenges to their queen? Queen can come here, but what's it doing there? What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? Knight can come here with a fork here. Yeah, it's a nice fork. Although, I think the bishop might take, start panicking, takes. Take with the pawn. Pawns there by itself. So preferably don't want the bishop, bishop to take it, do we? I think they will. Well, we need to cause some sort of situation. Might even just take with the queen. Bang, bang. Rook comes down to attack it. No, doesn't do that. Oh, attacking my queen. Stupid position of that damn knight again. It's so... Bleh. Right, okay, so we go and attack their queen, they take ours, we take theirs. Does he have a check on our king at all? I'm lower than them on time now. I think we're just going to go for theirs and see how it pans out. No time for arty business. Takes, takes even even although maybe he just comes here or something then I'm I've lost my knight oh no he's not doing that let's take does the rook take or has the knight found a magical position somewhere uh, take is the rook exchange going In bullet mode, no, we're in blitz mode at the minute. Bishop's got a nice angle, can maybe close that in a bit. Still plus one. I think maybe if we looked at the analysis on this one, that exchange of the queen type situation, I think we could have lost something if they had done something different with their position. Can't remember exactly what it was, but we we would have lost out. Okay, time-wise, they're putting the thinking time in, which is good. It's good for a last game. But we still got to keep our focus now. It's not done, just because we're plus one. We need to look at really the position. Look at all these pieces, keeping it company. But like I say, it's got to be more of a proactive company. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's safe, but these probably might have been better um, fighting the good fight but you never know this is their style and late development they don't look too much like a trader although that's why I was really surprised when they actually captured the queen with their knight and it's zero increments so they must be a bullet specialist if they're looking to claw their time back. Although sometimes it's not about the physical speed of the moves, it's the accuracy of the moves that you make in the time that you've got, which makes all the difference. I'm going to take this. I know he's probably saying, well, you know, he's not going to get the um, 
So I'm going to have to move the king here to... What? I thought the rook would have come across there. Then let's bring the rook here. Oh, they're going quick now. Look at that bullet specialist. Let's put a check on the king. Could bring this here, but it's not really hitting anything. Just feels nice up there. Mm, 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 mm. Let's attack the rook. Oh, maybe not. So the rook just comes in front, doesn't it? That's not a good, a good plan. Oh, again, I've done the same thing. <laughs> the rook can just come there. Stupid. So I'm going to have to move the king up to defend now. Same principle. And I still did the same move. Well, well they've let us off. So I'm going to attack the rook. Because they're coming attacking the pawn. They let us off there. Rook could have just come there and we would have had to do a bit of jostling. Because I don't have to move fast because... It's their time running down. I'm on two minutes still. Ooh, got to check on the king. We can hit them. But the knight's just going to sit there forever and a day, isn't it? Let's go here. Has he got a fork? No, he's attacking the pawn. Don't really want to give anything up. If we attack the king, he just drops there. Let's bring the king here. Has he got a fork? Please don't get a fork on me. Move the king supporting the pawn. Just trying to do the basics. I, I can't force it. Ooh, this bishop's protecting there though. I can't force a mate if there's no mate at all. Doesn't look very mateish to me. It's attacking the rook. And we can bring and attack the knight. Is he whirlwinding? Just bring the rook up out of the way. Looks like they're going to run out of time. All right, so there's no matey thing, so I just need to just be steady with the moves. And I think if we bring the bishop here, then we... Oh, bless him. All right, so they've run out of time. So I just thought if we bring the bishop here, maybe we could go for an exchange of the rooks that way but they ran out of time so yep good last game excellent good session again